we all tell stories. Let's think about it. How many people here are married? How many times have you told the story about how you two met? The story is this theatrical masterpiece. I tell this part, you tell that part, and at the end we smile, we hold each other's hands, and we look at each other. <laughs> Confuse the customer, lose the sale. Now sure, I get it. What you're telling them sounds simple to you. For you, the devil is in the detail, the tech jargon. What I want you to do instead, I just want you to tell them a story. What we need to be thinking about are what are some of our best customer success stories and how can we utilize those to tell clients to close more deals in shorter sales cycles. Since Matt has left and we've continued our practice, the board themselves have increased their ability to get wishes sponsored by another 15%. When you tell a story, studies out of Princeton says this thing called neurocoupling happens. And what that means is I'm creating artificial rapport. People remember 22 times more information when embedded into a story. For instance, if I was going to tell you to remember chairs, porridge, and beds, and say a year from now, I'm gonna come back and ask you what those things were, there's no way you're gonna remember what those items are. But going back to Goldilocks and the Three Bears, not only will you remember what those items are, you'll remember the order they were told. are you spending chasing clients, following up with them, and potentially not getting the sale because you don't have these well-prepared stories that help the customer know that you can deliver? I went from scared to sell to teaching hundreds how to do it. Now, thanks to my best-selling book, The Introvert's Edge, I get the opportunity to teach thousands. You need to have a very refined sales script that leads to an objection, like the commercial real estate company. That objection leads to telling a story. We're speaking to the logical mind. And the problem with that is the logical mind's listening and thinking, that's not gonna work for me. The emotional mind, however, loves stories. They hear a story and they're like, story time. <laughs> it short circuits the logical mind and you speak directly to the emotional mind. And it doesn't listen to any of the details. It just assumes all of that to be factual. And it's listening for the moral of the story. Now the moral of the story is that the customer had a successful outcome working with you. And because of that, so can they.